The Earth is a body of finite dimensions floating in space. It doesn't fall because there is no particular direction towards it might fall. It is dominated by no other body. That's exactly what astonished me. When I got to this point, I said, oh my God. <laughs> um, because this is really something that nobody else understood. I mean, centuries, millennia of civilization, China, India, Mexico, Mali, you, you name it, the, the, the Egyptian, the, the Sumerian, the Babylonian, the Syrian, nobody got it. So everybody always thought that the earth is, 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 has to stand of something, otherwise it will fall down. And the sky is just above us, essentially. And uh, here's a man who says, wait a minute, um, the sky should be all around us because we see it's rotating. So therefore, earth should be like a stone suspended in nothing, and there should be a reason for which it doesn't fall. And that's incredible because it forces you to rethink what is falling, what is up and down. And he was absolutely right. I mean, just go to the moon and look back and you see that the earth is just a piece of stone floating in, into nothing, not falling, just stay there. You look for the moon and, or you look from a different star and you see it's just you know, going around the sun, but it's not falling down in any, in any sense. Um, he got it, he got it right. He convinced the people around him. He convinced the, uh, the Greek civilization that in turn conv convinced the other civilization of the world. And this is a major, major step because it's a cosmological evolution. It's uh, changing a perspective of how to think about cosmos as a whole. Cosmos is not anymore sky up and earth down, but it's more rich, it's a, it's a wider perspective. And he did that, and everybody attributes that to him in ancient thinking. I was so astonished. So that's what drove me to him. And then I found other people who were equally astonishing, astonished about that. I'm not the only one. I mean, if you read Karl Popper, the great philosopher of science, um, uh, sort of German and American, uh, he writes, this is the most portentous ideas that humankind ever had. <laughs> and it's right. And he got it. And uh, and it's very, it was very hard. Why it was very hard to get it? Because, uh, I mean, it's not, easy, it's not hard to imagine that you see the sky going around us, moon, star. So you say, oh, maybe the earth is, is nothing below it. But then immediately you say, no, no, wait, if there was nothing below, it would fall. So he challenged the idea that everything would fall. If we see all heavy things fall, uh, why should we think that the earth as a whole fall? Okay. So he challenged a common knowledge everything heavy fall, and realize that you can, if you give it up, you have a better picture of reality. And he get to this picture with, with, a, with, a, with the earth, earth for him is not spherical, but it took just a generation to realize that the most likely uh, shape is spherical. And it took another hundred years for the Greeks to actually measure it. It was measured by Eratosthenes in the third century before our era with very good precision. I mean, we, uh, the, the, the Mediterranean, the, the size of the earth was known since antiquity, it was known all through the Middle Ages. And what uh, Christopher Columbus got right is that he thought that the earth was smaller, that what really is. So he, th he thought that going to, eat to China uh, would be uh, shorter than what it really is. Then he was lucky because there was a continent in between, he didn't know that. So he was wrong, actually, he was the wrong one. I mean, the people were telling him, no, you cannot sail to China um, going west, they were right. Um, but the, this change of perspective, this new idea that the earth is a, it's a round thing and, and, and around there's all the rest of, uh, and there's no preferred direction. There's no preferred up and down in the universe. Uh, uh, that's the single man in the history of humankind who got it. He got it right. It's right. And he convinced everybody else. So, wow, 